Hello guys, Getter here and welcome to yet another video. In this video we will be building a workstation on the budget size that needs to be able to hammer Revit renders, Lumion renders, a lot of heavy work on Photoshop and AutoCAD drawings. So stay tuned and let's see what we will be building. The main star of the show is the Ryzen 7 2700. Yes, I didn't go for the 3700 because there is no use for it in gaming, so I'm not interested in the higher clocks. Our main purpose was to get as much cores as possible, and this one was around 150 euros during Black Friday. Now, this will be paired with a nice Zota Gaming GTX. 10, uh, 1660 6GB 6 version that will be very good to handle the 3D renders. This will go very well with a two sticks of 16GB um, each, 16GB each G-Skill IG's uh, memory which is at uh, 3200 megahertz. This will go on a Gigabyte B450M DS3H motherboard, no need for a X470 or X370 or whatever. These can handle mild overclocks, which there is a chance I will be doing one. I don't think it's necessary though, but um, we might do one. As for storage, we are using two silicon power SSD, one 500 gigabyte and the other one is one terabyte. Actually, I think it's uh, yeah, it's 512 and 1 terabyte capacity. This will be used also with a 2 terabyte Western Digital hard drive for backup. Uh, the, um, our power, power supply is a TX550M, very good power supply, semi-modular. I didn't want it to be fully modular since the price increase it doesn't matter and I think whatever it has as a semi-modular we are going to use so it's perfect and this will go inside the Cooler Master Masterbox Q300L if you watched my HTP SIM build guide you will see that I really love this case it's a very small form factor case and it can fit everything we have here it's amazing even in mine now I am using a GTX 1080 so it's pretty roomy for anything we want and I also we also have for this build a uh, generic ASUS keyboard and mouse combo plus an LG 32 inch 1440p monitor that is very good for color accuracy and all these things the, the LG and the keyboard you will see in the final part of the video when I will be using everything to light up and make it work so Let's get to the build part.